Hey you, so in this video, $100 silver, it's going to be a range of coins that I'm displaying here that at some point I believe would be worth $100 plus. So, you know, I got into them paying under $100, believing that these coins would go on to be worth $100. So just giving a rundown also on my views on some of the coins people have asked me about and going over whether they was able to accomplish that. And we can all take a look together and see whether it's worth putting your money into these coins and do they return. So jumping straight into this, I'd like to say if you haven't done so already and you like what you hear slash see, please do go ahead and like and subscribe. So let's get into this. So first coin, I know we're going to be one ounce silver coins here, would be this silver high relief lunar coin. So one ounce silver high relief lunar coin. So I got into these coins believing that they could go on to be worth 100 plus, you know, the, going through the capsule here also, they are tight, but you just got to play and play with them. And you know, if you look at some mark card video, you see I went heavy on these coins thinking that they was going to be the ones. But ultimately, I walked away believing that there wasn't that much opportunity in terms of price appreciation with the um perf mint one ounce high relief coins and I, I think that's across the board you know i think they're fantastic for collectors you know if you like the design and this is a very nice sexy design then it gives you that variant that you can get it in you know high relief you know deep thick coin and i think that's where it ended with these you was paying uh, a premium but I know they don't sell too well even with dealers so these were purchased on a sale but ultimately this did not go on to do what i expected it to do i also made the mistake of getting into some of the one ounce high relief kooks and same experience so that was my end of the journey when we was talking perf mint one ounce high relief coins i think they're great perf mint like to churn out as many as possible so you're many variants so you're going to get the one ounce in a gilded, a proof, reverse proof, high relief, you know, um, the whole nine. And this is just one of their many coins. And for this, it, it didn't work out. To date, I don't think I've seen a one ounce high relief coin that does do well in the secondary market in terms of appreciation. Maybe in gold, but for silver, whether it was their lunars or their kooks, it wasn't a good bet. So for me, this is just a souvenir. I, I did hold a few back when I done the ultimate mega dump of those coins, but it didn't do what I wanted it to do, and it wasn't that magic, you know, 100 plus dollar coin. So that one didn't quite work out for me. Let me know if you guys have been into the one ounce silver high relief coins from Perth Mint, and you know, if you was reselling, how well did it do for you? So next is the one ounce silver Cougarang coin. Now I'm looking at the proof variant here, so I can't remember what the mintage was on these. If I can get some of the paperwork out. And you know, it was a proof variant because when these first came out, there was a big hoorah as to, you know, the mintage and how many were out and uh, just the price and a lot of the price gouging that a lot of the dealers were doing at the time. So I was totally out from then. So these have a mintage of 15,000. So I was totally out on the BU, you know, a lot of dealers were paying silly billy games, but you know, an opportunity came up to get some of the proof coins at a much fairer, better price. but ultimately found that why the quality was terrible you know talk was the mint ship and these to dealers had the coins popping out so it was having pop out of capsule gate we could call that and the coins were getting scuffed up so um quality control really damaged a lot of potential for these coins but these coins graded was doing insane numbers when they first came up I'm not mistaken, they were selling upwards of $700, $800, so around £599. So the aim of the game was to technically get one of these in, grade them, you know, cross your fingers for a 70, and then sell it. But it didn't quite work out like that. As it peaked, it started dropping, and it dropped fast. Not knowing where they are now, you know, I couldn't tell you what these are currently selling for. These... 2017 kooks i believe no excuse me krugerang coins but i could think now but the last time i saw one of these i believe it was selling around the region of 80 pounds so you're looking at around 65 pounds and that's just an average price you know once again if you're to look on the resales for yourself you could see it for a selling for a lot more but for a coin graded that was selling upwards of 800 900 dollars and raw you know around the three four hundred mark 
you, you could easily pick these up under hundred dollars now so ultimately this wasn't able to go on to hit the 100 mark for myself i ended up sending a lot of them back and keeping this one just for you know sake sake having a silver kruger and it's the only silver krug that i own in my stack and you know it's okay i'm not fussing or fighting got it for a decent price and it's still there so next would be the infamous 2008 kook you know with this kook it's 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 beloved you know you've got the kooks i don't know i couldn't tell you how many are currently out but you know there's a favorite a crowd favorite and you know the majority may say it's the 2008 kook everybody's got their own reasons for why but it was a coin that i aggressively picked up because it is somewhat hard to get in bulk and even can you know depend on the weather can be tricky on price you've had dealers american dealers selling this coin this exact same coin here for a hundred dollars plus but on the secondary market you could easily find this coin for around 55 dollars so around the 45 pound mark not taking shipping into account or taking shipping into account but it was a coin i think is very desirable for many you know it's, it's when you're talking um, kookaburra coins this is up there in terms of easily top three or number one depending on who you ask um did i believe it could do the hundred dollar plus mark on resale on the secondary market with ease yes did it reach that number for certain dealers i.e and even graded i've seen it go for that but currently if you was looking for this coin as mentioned you'll find it for around the 55 dollar mark so it's currently not doing what i expected but if you purchased at the right time it's still a fantastic flip now even with the cooker and kookaburra coins Krugerang, kookaburra Krugerang, kookaburra i get asked a lot of times as to what my current thoughts and opinions are on these coins so even if we're looking at this one here this is another coin you know it was talk of that i believe could go on to do that because of the 2008 height but if you look at the 2016 right now wherever you're looking you're going to find this coin for around 40 dollars 30 pounds sterling so i'm asked what do i think of the kooks do i still think they're a good investment would i pick them up you know the, uh, the kooks hold a dear spot in my heart but currently as i've mentioned to many people it do i think they're a good flip yes what do i think the best flips are for the kooks right now if i could find one i would say you're better off flipping something like the privy coins believe it or not as much as i, I i'm against the privy pimping you know and um, taking advantage of the privies the privies and that more exclusivity i would say now because they've really overproduced the kooks and the kooks you know as you can see a privy there people do pay a premium for the privies it just is you know it's one of those crazy things the standard bu's don't hold that much appeal with a mintage of you know 300,000. Then you've got so many privy variants. Whereas somebody may think I'm better off purchasing one of these privies, whether it's a shark privy, you know, a F15 privy. I believe the privies come in low mintages up to 5,000 and below. The privies do a better play. If I was to start picking up kooks again, as much as I hate privies, especially to flip, it'd be the privies I'd be looking for once again. I think, as I've mentioned many times, the kooks, you know, perf killed the coots when they brought out the swans the emus and all these other coins with the lower mintage the 25k mintage you know it's just more of a pill uh, now it's people with sentimental value picking up the coots or people that would have been picking up the coot for many many years a lot of people pick up these coins and want to make a profit you know flipping them or just see their coin appreciating price over time regardless of making a profit or not and i think with such a high mintage and then with you know the roster of other coins on such a low mintage my own personal thoughts and opinions here once again i think it didn't do no justice for the ongoing kook series so this is why i don't actively pick them up no more and i can't see myself picking them up for the foreseeable future but these once again are two coins that i believe would go on to do that but it just doesn't seem to be the case so you know we'll see how that one plays out in future terms and here's a prime example of the roster of coins that perth ended up bringing out that fit the 50k a mintage a model that i think went on to ultimately kill the kooks and the other large mintage coins i.e the lunas so this is a coin that i purchased and also believe would go on to do you know 100 dollars and it's it's still going strong you know I, I haven't really checked where the error coins are selling but the standard one i believe sells for around 65 dollars so around 50 pound 51 pound but you know <laughs> when it first peaked and especially when you had the little error gate and die variation gate as you can see here if 
behind the head there, the shiny patch, and it's got the matte patch, and I believe somewhere up in the tail also. These coins were selling for that. You know, I did help a friend liquidate a few. I decided to hold on to them because I think there's a lot of potential in having a Perf Mint, a strong, reputable mint that does mainly collect the coins, having one of their little die variation errors. So I decided to hold on to the bulk of mine, but I thought even over time, this coin would easily be selling for larger premiums. It still does have the you know first out uh, um, advantage to it and i think over time if this one declines or if spot just keeps on going up it's going to be better and better you know you've got a dragon and a phoenix so you know any time you've got a dragon in the mix you're, you're definitely on to a winner but as mentioned i haven't really checked the prices on the errors but i still think it's a fantastic buy especially when you decide to grade them i do know you can get over the hundred dollar mark so that is somewhat of a goal you know and i would say it's a 50 50 you know it's a coin that i invested in paid under 100 and i wanted to see whether it would go over 100 and i believe with a bit of work you can easily accomplish that especially when you're looking at the error coin so this i would say has been somewhat of a success when i'm looking at a silver one ounce coin that went for the hundred dollar mark area so next would be another coin that i invested in we're going to be looking at the silver Rwandan coin now this would be one of the one ounce coins that I made a lot of bank on when I was liquidating over the number of that I picked up so we've got the proof variant here and the BU variant the BU variant picked up at the right time it was still a fantastic coin to get in I believe these sell anywhere from around $40 average now 30 pounds sterling and the silver proof that I picked many up obviously to flip and you know do I do cowboy yeehaw went on to do fantastic you know I believe raw currently you know sells I believe in the Americas is up where of, I think it's around $220 so you know that's anywhere from around 175 pounds now this is a coin I picked up at the time for around I think around 57 pounds so around $70 so and we're talking about the proof here so selling upwards of you know $220 now raw these are the last sales I saw so around 175 pounds now I liquidated a few of these graded at $500 and raw I sold for around a $300 mark also so this did go on to do what I wanted to do but it was the proof area but once again stating how much I paid around the $70 mark it was a fantastic coin to get into and it goes to show you know you sometimes when you you know you know dud dud you've got to be in it to win it you know and it was surprise surprise it was a coin these still are you know in happy hands and have found happy homes and kind of hard to come across because you know they're so scarce but um graded or raw it's a fantastic coin to get into i still do have a graded version as mentioned i picked up many of these i held on to some because i wanted to go along with them so we'll see how that one plays out in the long run but it's gone on to do fantastic things i think the bu in time can also appreciate a little more in price and as we see the spot price appreciating all of these are ultimately going to go up in price if you bought them for at the right time so it's a win-win scenario but not all go on to hit that magical number up and above many you know shoot up but then come back down easily when it first came out especially the era was selling over 100 dollars this once again was selling way up in the 800s plus raw 350s now you're getting it for you know around 80 dollars so and these here was dead on <laughs> dead on arrival but you know these are the coins i have it's going to be the, the day when we can find the standard raw bullion one ounce britannia which i don't have on display here hit these high numbers what do you think you know are we going to see a hundred dollar an ounce spot price anytime this year and let me know any coins that you got into under a hundred dollars or you believe would see that hundred dollar mark that went on to do fantastic for you but this has just been my display here show and tell of a couple of the coins that i got into collect the coins that i thought would do that but you know some never hit the mark some stand no chance in hell and extremely rare few did so i'm going to wrap this one up guys but if you like what you see here and you haven't done so already please do like and subscribe and i catch you guys on the rebound